Hey guys, we are back for another brewing video. Today I'm going to be doing a uh, start to finish video, so you're going to see the from the start of the process right through to the finished beer. Um, some of you guys over in the UK and possibly other countries like the US may recognise these already, but these are new, um, well new to me and new to my uh, local homebrew shop, which is Hauraki Homebrew. I'll put a link below. So I was in there yesterday and saw they had a range of these Muntins. Uh, craft beer in a bag um, makes 25 pints and I picked up the session IPA that also locally they've got the golden ale the pale ale and a dark ale and the beauty of this is probably see just add water no equipment needed so everything you need to make um, 25 pints or beer I'll put the equivalent in letters on the screen is all contained in this tube so uh, that piqued my interest, so I thought I'd give it a whirl, show it to you guys in case you're interested, um, either for yourself or maybe, you know, if you're looking for a gift idea, this cost me $21 all up, going to make 25 pints, so, you know, can't go too far wrong, so we'll crack it open, I've already pulled out the instructions, but um, I'll show you what's inside, so it comes with a packet of uh, premium yeast, A yellow cap which will explain what that is shortly and then the main component of this is the foil bag so here it is here so this bag actually acts as the fermenter and also as the keg to dispense the dispense the finished beer obviously you can see the tap and it's got a cap at the top where um, We'll add the water. So inside is 1.8 kilos of the pre-hopped uh, malt extract. So yeah, we'll, we'll go through the instructions quickly and then we'll get into it. So, yeah, on the instructions. Okay, it says lay the brewer's bag flat on a hard surface and unscrew the white cap removing the tamper evidence seal fill a measuring jug with four pint pints of lukewarm water between 18 and 25 degrees pour the water into the spout at the top replace the white cap gently shake the bag and dissolve the mixture taking care to avoid any spilling of the mixture so we will do that now i've got some water uh, i've got eight liters i'm going to need more than that but i've got some anyway just um sort of getting up to temperature so I'm just sitting at 25 in there so we will pull the seal okay so we're doing this for the first time together so uh, we'll see how easy it actually is so I'm going to pop that over there and I think I'm going to have to uh, expand this. Okay, so it's got a gap. There we go. Just trying to work out how to sort of puff it, puff it out a bit. Okay, so just putting, um, so this is an 8 litre urn. You need, I think it's 13 litres in total. So we'll go down to probably the 3 litre mark. Actually, you know, we'll drain it right out. Let that go in. Okay, we're back. So I've got the rest of my water. So I've got eight liters in here. Actually, it says to do four pints or two and a half liters and then add the yeast, but I've put a bit more in. So I've got the rest of my water ready to go. So you basically put the yeast in halfway through after mixing out the malt extract. So we will tip the yeast in. Could use a funnel. Um, free balling here so we'll see how that goes we'll just tilt that back a bit so the yeast goes inside yeah if you tip, tilt it back a bit you can get the yeast in there no problem at all so that's all the yeast in there so what I think we'll do now is we'll put the um, put the white cap back on give that another good mix and then we'll top it up with the uh, final amount of water as well if it hits so we'll turn that around and we will 
put the remaining water, take the white cap off again. Where are we? The hose ready to go again. And we'll top that up. So I'll do that. And then we'll come back. We're just about there, guys. So. Okay, so we've finished adding all the water. Now you use, this is where you use the yellow cap, so it came with a white cap just for um, mixing it up and sealing the bag initially. Now this is a breathable uh, cap, so it will vent any excess pressure. So it says to screw that on. Okay, so just until it catches, don't over tighten. So I've done that already. Okay, so that's, um, that's it done pretty much. Now all you have to do is wait. So it says... Um, Place in an ambient temperature environment, 18 to 25 degrees, making sure it is an upright position on a hard surface and the base is fully extended, which it is. Um, over the next three to four days, the bag may inflate and become firm as the beer ferments. After about a week, move the bag to a cool environment, 15 to 18 degrees. Well, I think I'm going to do this how I would normally brew my beers. I'm going to um, ferment it... Um, between 18 and 20 degrees Celsius. Um, it says to do that for uh, 30 days, which sounds quite a lot. Normally I ferment for a couple of weeks, maybe bottle condition for two, so I suppose that's around the 30 days. So yeah, I'm going to th ferment it for two weeks, um, and then probably let it set, settle, settle, sit for two weeks, and then we should be back for uh, the final video of enjoying the beer. So thanks for watching, guys. Hopefully it hasn't been too messy. I'll put some things on the screen just to clarify anything I said, and uh, we will be back in about four weeks. So we'll catch you then. Thanks for watching, guys. Over and out. Okay, so we're back after four weeks. Um, I've just had the bag in the fridge for the last two days just to cool the beer down. Um, the only other thing I've done um, is I've removed a little foil seal off the bottom of the tap. And also there was like a tamper uh, plastic seal around the top just so you couldn't accidentally um, knock the tap and have beer come out. Um, yeah, so here we go. Moment of truth. Pull this up. So it's got a lever on each side. I think you can pull both or just pull one. So one makes it come out quite slow. I think if you pull both, there we go, it comes out. Hopefully you can see that. Okay, so there she is there. Um, before we go any further, um, I did actually uh, end up uh, flushing out about half a glass of uh, beer because uh, the first sort of initial pour had uh, quite a bit of yeast sediment. So anyway, this is the uh, first full glass. Quite an attractive looking colour there. Um, fairly clear, but there's definitely some haze there. It's got some sort of head on the top, but I can't see much in the way of carbonation going on. But uh, give it a smell. Doesn't smell too bad. Um, just mainly malt. I'm not getting much in the way of hops, but yeah. It's a little bit of sweetness from the malt on the nose. I think we'll dive in, guys. See how it uh, turns out. It's been four weeks in the making. So this is the Session IPA, so I think it's about 3.5%. So it is quite a thin body beer. Um, but it is an initial thought, so it is, yeah, it is thin. Um, yeah, main, mainly malts coming through. Am I getting much in the way of hops? That's the big question. Yeah, maybe a little bit of... Um, a little bit of citrus, maybe a little bit of pine, but very, very subdued. I guess the fact that it is only three and a half, everything's going to be dialed back down. 
but it's not actually too bad. Um, carbonation is quite low as you probably would expect with the foil bag. One thing you may have noticed um, when I was pouring out the beer, I had the white cap on instead of the yellow breathable uh, cap. So what I actually did was when um, fermentation had pretty much uh, slowed right down, I actually replaced the yellow cap for the white cap because I felt the yellow cap was venting too much pressure. The white cap obviously doesn't vent any pressure, so what I was doing is I was just manually releasing pressure myself and that enabled the, the uh, I guess, more pressure to retain in the bag. Um, still hasn't resulted in a, in a huge amount of carbonation. It is holding head still, which is interesting. Um, but it's not too bad at all, actually. Um, if I think back to some of my early kit brews, like the Cooper's Cans, um, it's easily comparable to, um, to one of those. Um, then if I compare it to uh, maybe some macro beers that I can get here in New Zealand, um, especially if it was like a low ABV or a session sort of macro beer, it's, you know, it would um, fit in with those uh, quite nicely. Is it going to blow anyone away? Um, probably not. This is the session. Maybe I should have gone for a fuller strength beer. Um, you know, if you... I'd call it like a, a macro lawnmower beer would be a good description. It's not too bad at all. I'm not picking up any um, like uh, major flaws in the beer. I did try and stick to the 18 degrees ferment pretty much uh, most of the way through and then just uh, maybe it ramped it up a little bit at the end. And I think that's probably one important thing with this uh, with those bags is to ferment it uh, in the 18 to 20 range. Ferment it too high, I think you're going to create all sorts of uh, weird and wonderful uh, aromas and flavours. But yeah, for what it is, um, that's, that's not too bad at all. Um, I still think ideally this would be, uh, would appeal to people just getting into brewing. Um, maybe they they're not sure where the brewing's for them. So I mean, for 21 bucks, you know, you get something like this at the end. You can drink it and decide, hey, I'm actually keen and on going further. Um, uh, even if you're at the early stages of ex extract brewing, um, you might be interested to give this a whirl. Maybe give one of the um, this is a session one, which is like say is good lawnmower beer, but maybe give one of the fuller strength ones a whirl. Um, could even maybe add in some dry hop through the little um, uh, cap at the top or we'll take the cap off and pour some uh, hops in there. Um, or yeah, the other thing I might have mentioned early on is it would make a good uh, present. Uh, if you've got a friend or a family member who you think might be interested in getting into brewing, um, yeah, maybe, maybe buy them one. So yeah, to go from the contents of this to... Uh, to this, I think that's uh, pretty much job done, and um, you know, I, my my, ex, my expectations were fairly low, um, and um, I I didn't expect uh, you know uh, anything to rival like a uh, an all grain beer or anything like that, or a really uh, pimped up extract beer. But um, yeah, for what it is, I think uh, it's turned out pretty good. And if I just want a low ABV beer after work, um, I think that would do the trick. So, Thanks for watching guys. If you've got any questions, um, just put them below. Hopefully I haven't missed anything out. Until next time, uh, we'll catch you. I have got a, a beer that's almost ready to taste, so we'll uh, check that out shortly. Thanks for watching. Over and out.